welcome to the Hobonichi Weeks Week. Hello, welcome back to this channel or welcome to this channel. My name is Jackie and I'm a planner, journal and coffee addict. Today I have another simple and short video for you in this Hobonichi Weeks week and we are going to discuss very briefly the pros and cons of the Hobonichi Weeks. So this can be interesting for you if you are still debating getting a Hobonichi Weeks. So if you want to hear what I have to say about it, just keep watching. <gasps> So for this video, I have five pros and five cons about the Hobonichi Weeks, and I will say that almost every single pro has a con depending on what you want. So I will say a pro and a con in this order. So I'm not going to list all the pros and then all the cons. I, it will be just as I go because everything has another side. So the first pro of the Hobonichi Weeks is the size. So as you can see here, I have just the book without any covers or covers on covers, and it's something really compact. And I love that. And that can be useful, uh, especially if you are interested in a everyday carry planner, because it's pretty light. Even if you are using a cover, like here, I have this gallon leather cover, which is pretty big, as I already mentioned in my Hobonichi Covers collection video that I will link up here. Even if you are carrying with like a big cover, it's still quite compact and I love that about the Hobonichi Weeks. But as I already told you, this also has a con, which is it is way too small. So of course it will depend on the use you are planning on doing with your Hobonichi Weeks. Because if you are planning on using it as your only planner, that can be quite tricky. Because as you can see here, the spaces are quite narrow and you will be you, you will not be able to fit a lot into your planner. So that can be a con depending on the use you are going to put your Hobonichi to. The second pro for the Hobonichi Weeks is the weekly layout. And of course, that, that's something really important because it's called the Hobonichi Weeks. So I'm going directly to the weekly view so you can see what I'm what I'm talking about. So I just love that here on the left side you get all the days of the week with equal amount of space on each day, including Saturdays and Sundays. And I love this because I just hate those planners where you get a smaller space for the weekends. And I usually have a lot going on on those days. So I just love that you get like an equal amount uh, of space for each day of the week. And here on the right side, you just get this graph paper where you can add trackers or notes or lists or whatever you want. So I really love this configuration. Again, it is the same as the Traveler's Notebook uh, weekly insert with the memo notes, not the vertical one, the one with the memo notes, but the weeks is smaller. But I just love this configuration and I love having uh, the Japanese quote here at the bottom as well. So the layout for me is a huge pro of the Hobonichi Weeks. Now for another con, and that has to do with the layout because it has to do with these little quotes, which are in Japanese. So with the Hobonichi Weeks, unlike the A6 Hobonichi, which is the original, you can only get the Japanese version. So you do not get a choice of opting for an English version. It's like the cousin, you only get the Japanese version. And I know that can bother uh, some people, not me, because I really like it, but I decided to add it as a con because I know that's, that's a deal breaker for a couple of people. But as I already mentioned in my Hobonichi video, uh, the 101 Hobonichi Weeks, um, you do get the name of the month and all the days of the week in English. So that doesn't bother me. I mean, you can use it. It's just perfect, but you will get like quotes and a couple of Japanese um, 
things and pages written in some places, including uh, at the back of the planner, which is where you get the most pages written only in Japanese, even though you can find a couple of English words here and there. But yeah, that can be a con. My third pro is actually the third con as well, which is the cream colored pages. And I've already talked about this on previous videos, but I just love the cream colored pages. So for me, it's definitely a pro, but I know some people hate writing on uh, cream colored pages. They prefer white pages and the Hobonichi Weeks, you can only get the cream colored pages. So that can be a pro or a con for me is a pro. The fourth pro is the note section here at the end of your planner. And this for me is one of the things I love the most. Maybe this is the thing I love the most about the Hobonichi Weeks is that you can get um, a lot of notes pages with the Hobonichi Weeks, the regular version, you will get 69 pages for notes at the back and they are graph pages. And for the mega version, you will get 213 pages at the end of your book. And I just love using these as um, kind of bullet journal style where I can put, add collections and tasks and just uh, use it in case I need more space if the weekly spread is not enough for that specific week, if I'm having a really busy uh, week. So I just love this. I love, love, love that they add these. And for me, that's what makes this book really special uh, together with the weekly layout. But the note section is really a pro for me. Again, the note section can also be a con if you don't know what you are going to use this for. So when I got my first Hobonichi Weeks, I was really uncertain about how to use these notes pages. So I was really overwhelmed by these pages and I was trying to create something beautiful and beautiful spreads using these. And I was watching a lot of bullet journal videos, but it was just not working for me. So it made me just stop using my Hobonichi Weeks. So that can be a con if you do not plan on using those pages so my tip for you is just um, just use them don't be afraid don't think that you need to do anything permanent and pretty there just use it as you need and then you will be okay the last pro I have to mention here is the value. The Hobonichi Weeks is really cheap when compared to other Hobonichi planners. And of course, it can get more expensive if you are getting more accessories. But um, the reason I say it's a cheap planner, uh, at least in the realm of the Hobonichis, is because you can get just the book and you are ready to go. So for example, here I have just the book. I do not have any covers or covers on covers and it's pretty and I can use it just as it is. So I don't need to spend more money to add covers and accessories and all of that as with a cousin or uh, a Hobonichi A6. Not that you cannot use them as they are, but the book doesn't have a design on the cover, but for the Hobonichi Weeks, you do get a design. So I think that's a huge pro of the Hobonichi Weeks as well. The last con I have to mention is regarding the customs. So if you are buying the Hobonichi Weeks from the Hobonichi website, uh, even though it can be cheaper than other planners, you are still having to pay for customs depending on where you live. So that can be a con and that's really something you need to consider together with the shipping price. So uh, that would be uh, true for all of the other planners, but I just thought I should add this here. It can get really expensive when you have to pay for shipping and customs. So at the end, uh, it will not be that a cheap of a planner. <laughs> to sum this video up, the Hobonichi Weeks can have a lot of pros and a lot of cons, depending on how you intend to use it. So it depends on uh, what you are looking for. If you are looking for a, a planner to put your whole life in, or if you just want something smaller and compact to carry with you every day, or maybe to set up as a wallet together with uh, like a setup that can be used as a wallet. It really depends. For me, it's totally a pro. I really love it, even though I have sometimes a love and hate relationship with it and I stopped using it for a, while, for a while, I always come back to it because for me it's totally a pro. But the 
I will emphasize this again. It depends on how you intend to use it. So my tip for you is do your research. Look for videos. You have a lot of videos of wonderful YouTubers that just talks about the Hobonichi Weeks and how you can use it. And if you want some ideas, check for tomorrow's video that I will give you some ideas on how to use this planner. But it totally depends on you and what you are looking for. So I hope you enjoyed this short video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.